Hi everyone, Matt Jordan from Retro Rolling. Oh, my addition to the Revs Jubilee. Uh, this is going to be about my Mark 1 GT. Uh, it's just sitting here. I can't take my eyes off it. It's a new purchase and I absolutely love it. I really do love it. It's, it's a perfect car for me. The um, reason behind me wanting a Mark 1, obviously they're a legendary car, a very beautiful old car, but the appeal for me was the simplicity of them. Um, I'm a plumber and carpenter by trade. Uh, I know my way around the car a little bit, but, but this is one of those simple cars you can work, work on yourself, and that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, doesn't need a lot doing to it. It's in it's in remarkable condition. Um, I bought this back well, in February from um, a friend of a friend. He had three of them for sale, three Mark ones, and I had to pick up three, so I chose this one. This one's a Savage Striker GT, so it's a special car, very special car. And like I say, I'm going to work my way through it. Doesn't need a lot. Uh, just a little bit tidy, a little I'm very finicky about my cars. They have to be a certain way. It took me a long time to find the right car. Well, over two years, I initially wanted a um, a three door Cosworth or a Sapphire Cosworth, but over time, getting outbid on them and they they run up for stupid money and uh, Ford tax goes on them and yeah, lost some really lost out to some really really amazing cars. Quite gutted really, but I got this one. Uh, so pleased with it, so pleased with it. Let's have a look around. Yes, she is, look. Oh, just tripping over the rat. There she is. My Mark 1. Just have a quick walk around. Go around the back first. I'll show you. Uh, show you the back. There we go. Look at that. Superb. So in love with it. Just so in love with it. it meets all my expectations of a Mark One. Here we go. Underneath. Very, very solid car. Three inch stainless steel exhaust all the way through. Atlas axle. Not really got facet fuel pump. So the disc conversion all the way around. You know, Cosworth set up on the back. And they used three litre Capri set up on the front. Absolutely solid car. Something like that all the way through. Lovely. Look at this the badge. Look. Oh, the badge. Let's have a look inside. Not a lot to do in here really, just a bit of tidying. The bit in the middle there, that's a Mark II centre console there, that'll be coming out. So it'll just be the back to standard on that. The smell in here is absolutely amazing. Still can't believe it's mine. Really can't. Look at this. Check this out. Look. Original badges still on. When people restore these, and obviously the seals go, they cut all the rot out. I'll try and take these off. They actually snap in the middle. So these are really quite rare. The other one on the other side is still there, but it's all faded and yeah, not very good. I'd like one to look this good. 
So I actually looked for one. Oh my God, they are so expensive. So expensive. But yeah, lovely, look at that. Yeah, another part of it, look. There we go, look. The windows. So all these, all these bits, it's just, I'm so over the moon with it. So over the moon. Shut the door properly. Listen to that. Oh, proper door closing. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet. Uh, I've been messing around with this. It's actually, I would start it up. Hang on, it's very difficult to do one-handed. Essex V6 double pumper holly carp. This is what it, I would start it up. Like I said, it's, it's sort of not running quite right. I've been tickling the carb a little bit just to get it running a little bit sweeter. Um, so I would start it up, but I'm stepping in the light now. Look. This car is the same age as me. Obviously she's in better condition, but yeah. Wow. Blows me away every time. It's like I'm dreaming when I come in here, I have to pinch myself. Well, it's been a tough year, an unprecedented year for us all. We've had to sacrifice a lot, but we're coming through it now. Myself, I've missed the classic community, our breakfast mates, and all getting together and enjoying our cars. Uh, the other thing I love doing is photography. Really miss that. I've missed my favorite place as well. One of my favourite places to visit is Mr Heritage. Absolutely amazing place. Really, really want to get back there soon. So fingers crossed, everything works out and we can get back to normal. So let's all put the rough road behind us. Look forward to the new road ahead to a positive destination. Thank you to Rev for inviting me. And thank you all for watching. Please do spare a thought for charities, especially Mission Motorsport and all the great work they do. Thanks very much. Take care.